For the second function problem, we're going to find the output P when the input C is 10. All right. So what that means is we're going to substitute okay, this C with the number 10. So first of all, come over here and grab a pen or a marker. Okay. And let's write here. So it's going to be P equals 1 half times 10, which I'm going to write as 10 over 1. And then finally, the minus 3 after that. Okay. Now, when I do 1 half times 10, I'm going to have 1 times 10 is 10, and 2 times 1 is 2. So 10 over 2 is 5. So P is going to equal 5 minus 3. And 5 take away 3 is 2. So P is going to equal 2. So our answer is P equals 2.